only 1% of viewers can actually subscribe with their elbow. Hey Messias, want to know how to get this new space companion completely free? It's a shoulder accessory. I'll show you. Don't forget to use my star code, Kristen, when buying Robux or Premium. First, let's go ahead and join the Guacathon with Denzel Curry. It's going to be the first game. Let's join. Now go ahead and run to the end of the map where you guys can see the concert stage. Once the concert starts, one of the first things you're going to need to do is collect one of these axes to take down the walls. There's going to be actually two rock walls that you're going to need to take down. So this is going to be your first mission that you need to complete. As the concert continues, we will get to this map where you need to collect these pieces to build the building. Then you're going to go on stage and you're going to need to do emotes in the circle. These pieces will actually help equip these four areas on the spaceship. You're going to have all of the other players help you with this as well. And we've made it to the fireworks. The entire concert is about 20 minutes long and if you complete everything, you will get the badge. Now let's leave the game and see what this looks like. It's a shoulder accessory companion. I think this is actually pretty cool. Let me know, what do you guys think? Wanna know how to get this chaotic top hat completely free? I'll show you how. First, let's go ahead and join the game Dragon Quest. It's gonna be the second one right here. Let's join. Once you get into the game, follow me to collect the diamonds in color order. You're gonna need to find all of the gems in the right color order. There's seven of them. You're gonna need to go from red, yellow, blue, cyan, white, purple, and the last one is green. I accidentally cut out collecting the white diamond, but it is behind a tree on the hill. This step is very important. So the first one we're looking for is the red diamond. It's behind this tree. Now follow me to get the yellow diamond. This is going to be behind these buildings. It's kind of hidden at the bottom, so you easily could miss it. Now let's go over and find the blue one behind this tree. Now in order to find the teal diamond, this one's actually a little bit tricky because you're gonna need to go down by the water. Now that we're under the water, it's kind of in this little cave area. Now let's go over to get the purple. This one's gonna be quite a walk, so make sure to follow me and where I go. We're gonna need to go through the water over to this beachy type of area. Follow me. And there it is, you can see it kind of in the grassy area. Now let's head back to get the final diamond, the green one. We're gonna need to go and find this little secret cave, climb over the rocks, and you're gonna need to complete this little obby to get to the top. On the other side of these tracks, you're gonna go through the door, and there's the green diamond. Now let's go to the next step and we're going to need to go back to the water to find the gate with the iron doors in the code. So just go up to the gates and you can actually see the code behind the iron doors. I believe it's going to be different for everybody and then press the green enter button and this is going to teleport you to the next step. So this is where it gets really tricky. This is going to be an obby followed by a fight of the boss. It is timed. If you die in this, you're actually going to need to repeat the first step in getting all of the diamonds in color order. So just go ahead, complete this obby until you get to the boss. Also, a word of advice once you break through to beat the boss is to take down the HP towers first. Now that we've defeated the boss, we've got the badge. Now let's leave the game and check out this new hat. <gasps> Ooh, this looks really, really cool. This is going to make some really fun looks. Let me know. What do you guys think? Want to know how to get the classic Roblox cap for free? I'll show you. Let's go ahead and join the game Roblox Community Space. It's right here, the first one. Let's join. All we're going to need to do is collect all four of these tokens that are hidden around the map. They're actually pretty easy to find. And here
here's the second one inside. The other two are outside. Let's go. And here's the third one over by the photo booth. And let's go find that last one behind the gazebo. And here's the final one. So there's the badge. Let's leave the game and see what this looks like. Right here. I love this. It's such a basic hack that'll go with any look. Let me know. What do you guys think? Want to know how to get this adorable speech bubble accessory for free? I'll show you how to get it. First, let's go ahead and join this game. Make sure that you spell it correctly. It's right here, the first one. Let's join. Now we need to make our way to the obby, so follow me down this pathway. Once we get here, press E, and we're going to choose the obby island. It's the last one on the right. Now we're just going to go down this little area, and we're going to go to the left. Follow me up this pathway to get to the obby that we need. And we're going to go left to the obby start. Now we're just gonna go ahead and complete the obby. It definitely takes time and watch out for these meteors because they are going to hit you and they're going to make you reset. But we've completed the obby and there's the badge. Now let's leave the game and see what this item looks like. Here it is, it's a head accessory. And it's a music note speech bubble. I think this one's actually pretty cute. Let me know, what do you guys think? Wanna know how to get this jetpack accessory for free? Stay tuned, I'll show you. Let's go ahead and join this game. Make sure that you spell it correctly. And it's going to be the first one right here. <laughs> Let's join. Once you get into the game, we're going to need to make our way up into the obby. So you guys probably seen this on the video for this speech bubble accessory. You guys can check that video out after this also. But we're gonna choose the last one, the obby island. Once we teleport there, we're going to walk this way and take a left. Now follow me up the pathway so we can get to the obby. Now we've made it, we're gonna go left so we can start this obby. Now just take your time and watch for the meteors that they will hit you and they're actually going to, yeah, they're gonna throw you and make you restart. So once you complete the obby, you will get your badge, your congratulations, and now we can actually make our way back because there's something different now. There's actually four to choose from. We're gonna choose the last one right here. Now this, we're going to need to get all of these red towers. We're gonna need to turn them into green. So we're gonna need to go over to the turntable here. And once you click it, you can see that all of those towers are going to turn. So you're just going to want to keep turning and locking until you get all three turn green. And now the door is actually going to open and we can go ahead, jump down, we've got the badge. So now we can actually collect the jetpack, which is going to let us wear it in game, but it's also going to give us an accessory to wear. So let's leave the game and check this out. <gasps> Here it is. It's a back accessory. Oh, that is so cool. Let me know. What do you guys think? Hey, besties, want to know how to get the entire Boomtastic outfit? It comes with the top, bottom, and necklace. I'll show you. First, let's go ahead and join the game Robloxian High School. It's going to be the first one. Once you get into the game, go all the way to the back of the hallway into the library. Sit into one of the chairs that have the desk and computer. Wait about a minute, and then a key will appear. Then you just need to grab that key, which will unlock the door for the janitor's room. So the janitor's room is right here. It will allow you to unlock that back door. Go all the way down the stairs through the portal. Now that we've got through the portal, this is gonna be the tricky part. You actually need to get to the other end of the obby. There is checkpoints, so you don't need to worry about that. But once you get to the very end of this obby, jump down and it'll take you to the items. You're gonna see the necklace over here, so all you need to do is step onto it, and there's the badge, and that'll actually give you all items. Now let's check out what they look like. 
So here is all of the pieces together, the top, the bottom, and the necklace. Let me know, what do you guys think? Wanna know how to get this 3D layered jacket as well as a matching baseball hat? I'll show you how. First, let's go ahead and join the game Tommy Play. You guys have seen me play this many times, but for this item, we're gonna need to join a race and place in the top three. Luckily, there was only like one other person in this. I glitched. I wasn't able to race, but because there was only two of us, I actually was able to get the badge. So let's go ahead and leave the game and let's see what these items look like. Oh, here's the jacket. It fits so well. It's actually a little bit cropped as well. What do you guys think? And here's the baseball hat. This one is so cute. I feel like this is going to match a lot of different outfits. Hey besties, did you know that I had a custom created unicorn backpack available in the catalog? It has Kristen on beads and a rainbow charm on the side. You can find a link in the video description where you guys can check it out and buy now. Wanna know how to get this adorable layered 3D top? It's available in three different colors. I'll show you. Let's go ahead and join the game Tommy Play. It's going to be the first game on the left. Right here, let's join. We're going to slowly load into the game, and once we're there, look for the freeze tag game. This is actually a new game that we can play. Of course, you can still get your coins around the map, but it definitely speeds up the time to play these games. And now we have enough coins that we can actually leave and purchase these items. So let's go ahead and find these tops. It's going to be available in three different colors. These you can actually purchase with in-game coins that you earn, making them completely free. Let's play the game and check these out. So it does come in a forest green color with like a purple accent, as well as a navy blue and yellow, and a white with a soft blue color. Let me know what you guys think. I think this is actually pretty adorable. Want to know how to get the How to Program hat accessory for free? I'll show you. First, let's go ahead and join the game Bee Swarm Simulator. It's the first one. Let's join. Now there are going to be seven codes that you are going to need to put in that will actually help you. And I will make sure to pin all seven of these down in the comments. So now we're going to go over and claim our hive and let's head over to the shop. We're gonna need to purchase the goggles and one of the codes that you guys just entered actually has some of the ingredients that we can craft these. There's gonna be one more item that we need to go collect, so let's go get that now. Over here by the computer is going to be that final piece. Now we can craft the goggles. Let's go back over to the computer, press E, and we're gonna need to watch for the four symbol code and the order. You're gonna need to write this down probably to remember. Everybody's code is going to be different, so the code you see right now, it's going to be different from the code you guys will see when you click as well. Now that we have all four symbols, make sure that you write them in the correct order that you see them appear on the B. Then you're going to need to put them in a line on the dandelion field in the order that you just seen them. There's going to be four symbols that you need to put in. If you make a mistake, you can go back and change it. Once you put them in the correct order, four happy faces will appear. The next step is a little bit tricky, so we're gonna head back up to the computer and when we press E, you will see that we are looking for the next code. However, when the B spins, it disappears. So we're gonna need to go find the three locations that the B has spawned. Make sure to write the three symbols in order once again, and it will actually spawn over three separate fields, and that is where you need to put in the code. So first field is the sunflower field, Everybody's fields and coats will be different from mine. And the second one he spawned on was the mushroom field. So there's the second code. The third field that he spawned over was actually up on above to the clover field. So we can go over, put in that third symbol, and the happy face will appear. And now we can do the next step. Back over to the computer. Now when the computer and the bee appears, he actually is going to show you four letters. Write these letters in the correct order as well. So the letters stand for the field. My letters were D. For the dandelion field, we're going to need to find the symbol and write it down. And there's the symbol right there, the bracket. Next was the M, which is going to be for the mushroom field. Again, your guys' code will be different from mine. 
Then we had C for clover. So we're gonna find this symbol and mark it down. And the final one was S for sunflower. And there's the final symbol. Now we can go over to the field that has the blue flowers and we're gonna need to mark all four of the symbols that we just got in the correct order. So we have bracket, the and, the question mark, and the squiggle. Once again, four happy faces will appear. Now we can head back over to the computer. This is the final step. Press E and this should appear into the book. And there's the book. And this will also give you the badge, which means we've got the accessory. Let's go see what this looks like. Here it is. Okay, I love this. It's super thick and it has a lot of details on it. Let me know, what do you guys think? Do you wanna know how to get these three items completely free? It's actually pretty easy to get these. I'll show you. Let's go ahead and join the game Roblox Creator Challenge. Look for this icon and join. Let's do the first quiz. This is actually gonna be super easy because if you happen to get anything wrong, it's just gonna ask you a new question until you get to the end and get the badge. Now let's do the second quiz. Once again, just complete it. Don't worry if you do happen to get one wrong. It's just gonna give you a new question. And there's the badge for the second item. Now let's do the third and final quiz. I've also left all of my answers on. Hopefully it might help you guys get through this a little quicker. There's the badge. Let's leave the game and see what these look like. First is the classic PC hat. This one is so cool. Then we have these shades. These are very futuristic. And the last item is so cool. It looks like a magic book with all of the pages and it looks like wings. Wanna know how to get this new backpack with stickers on it? I'll show you. Let's go ahead and join the game School of Sport. It's gonna be the first one. You can say we need to earn the badge where we collect all 10 stickers. The first sticker is actually in the locker room. I accidentally didn't record that one. But the second one is behind the hoop. The third one is right across by the trees, right here. Next, we're gonna need to go above the bleachers. Go up the second set of stairs, and here's the next sticker. The fifth one we're gonna need to go on top of this roof area. And there's the next sticker. Let's get the sixth. We're gonna need to go above this area and be careful not to fall. And here it is. Now we can jump down and we're just gonna need to go behind the net. And there's the seventh. Let's collect the eighth, which is going to be over in this room. There's also gonna be a way that you can claim those 1,000 coins. Those will come in helpful for the future. Now go behind this long walkway area and this is gonna give you that next sticker. Now let's go get the last and final. We're actually going to need to go back into the gym. Now that we've made it into the gym, we're just going to need to complete this last obstacle course. This is going to give us that final sticker. And now we have it. So there's the badge, which is going to give us the item. Now let's leave the game and see what this looks like. Oh, this is cute. I think this is so detailed and it's gonna be so cute for back to school. Wanna know how to get these three dinosaur items for free? I'll show you. We're gonna need to go ahead and join the creator challenge quiz. It's gonna be the first one. Let's join. There's gonna be three quizzes that you need to answer to get all three items. Each time that you complete a quiz, you will get a badge, which gives you that free item. If you happen to miss a question and get it wrong, you don't need to worry, you guys, because you will actually just get a new question to answer. And it'll only take you a couple of minutes to complete all of the quizzes. You need to complete quiz one to get the second one, and the second to get the third. Now we have completed everything, let's try them on. First is going to be the dinosaur wings. These ones are so cool. The next one is actually the dinosaur backpack. I love all of the spikes on this one. It has a lot of detail. And the last one 
is actually the dinosaur head. This is actually going to come in handy, I think, for a lot of players at Halloween. Let me know. What do you guys think? Want to know how to get this new free mascot helmet completely free? I'll show you. Let's go ahead and join School of Sport. It's going to be the first game. Let's join. You're going to need to collect a ton of coins, you guys. The fastest way is to join this giant football minigame. You are going to need about 47,000 coins, but you can actually get this in under a half an hour just by playing the minigame. Every time that you do win this, you will get over 1,000 coins. Now let's go over and buy these clothing pieces. In order to unlock the mascot, you're going to need to buy 20 pieces of clothing. And that's why you need so many coins. And in order to purchase them, click try on, wait a couple of seconds, and then you can click purchase over on the icon and then another pop up. So it does take a little bit of time to load in. Once you buy 10, you're actually going to get a bonus of 5,000 coins as well. So like I said, this does take a little bit of time, but in under half an hour, you can get this pretty quickly if you do play the minigame. I ran out of coins, so I actually needed to go get another 10,000, and I am buying those last two pieces, and there's the badge. So we've bought all 20 items, now we can claim that mascot hat, and let's try it on. Oh wow, <laughs> this thing is massive! Let me know, what do you guys think?